hello there and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be trying on the shine makeup that I recently showed in a recent shine haul believe it or not so today we have a eyeshadow palette this is called the bubblegum palette it's by the she glam brand all of these products that I'm going to be trying on today are by the she glam brand this is Shine's own makeup brand and I just, I can't get enough of the name because you know what, when I apply my makeup, oh she be glam, she glam, she be glamming every day. Well she's not actually, not yet because I've not tried any any she glam makeup but maybe when I do try she glam makeup she be glam. If you are not calling me oh she glam by the end of the video then I think that's all we need to know about the success of these products. So we have the Bubblegum Palette, which is Pastel Perfection. I am really, really excited to try this because I'm a huge fan of pastels. We also have a contour stick. So this is a cream product. I'm going to be judging this on how easily does she blend out and how fabulous does she look. We also have the She Glam Clear and Bright Liquid Blush. Uh, this is in the shade Orgasm, which I'm hoping that that is going to be an indication of how wonderful I'll feel after applying this to my cheeks. And finally we have a liquid lipstick. This is in a rose gold metallic shade. This is... oh no. So the shade name was on the box you know, the packaging, and I just so quickly dismissed that away. I do not have it anymore, but um, this is what she looks like. We have the most beautiful paisley-inspired lid, which I really, really love. So, anyway, guys, to be to begin, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to say to begin or so today. So I said, so but today which was terrible. But today we're going to begin with the eyeshadow palette because I just really want to get pastelled up to within an inch of my life and I do not want to hesitate. I just want to get stuck right in. Apologies for the interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that all of She Glam's products are cruelty free. I know that a lot of people will be interested in that, so I just wanted to intercept to just confirm that they are 100% cruelty free. Okay, back to the eyeshadow palette. Boy, I have set up my eyes, they're ready, prepared for the eyeshadow that's about to become them. So I am going to begin at this. Oh gosh, do you know what? I've not even considered what I'm gonna to do today, but I mean, when is that any different from usual? I never. So I'm gonna to begin today with this beautiful light pink shade. And I'm just gonna pop that all throughout my crease. It may be a controversial move, but I am gonna use the biggest, baddest, fluffiest brush to go in with this first shade. I am just taking into account that this is an extremely light shade. And I want this shade to be like the setting the stage kind of shade. So I'm just going to go in hard. I'm not messing about today. I'm going in with the big fluffy, big, biggest, baddest brush is what we're doing. Oh, do you know what I've just realised? I did not show you any swatches. And I did not even show myself any swatches. I'm going to just cut to the swatches now so that you can see them. And I'm so sorry for being so unorganised. <laughs> Okay, so now that you've seen the swatches, I'm going to dive right in. We're going to get on with applying this beautiful light pink shade all up in my crease. Okay, so I feel like we can't see her there. Oh, sorry, something just flew out of my mouth onto my hand. Uh, I think it was a grape that I was just snacking on, but anyway. So yeah, she is extremely, extremely light. However, she's very bright. Like, you know, you can't not see her but you can't see her very easily, you know what I mean? She's there, but she 
is is kind of barely there. Do you know what I mean? But do you know what? We're just going to pack more of her on. We're going to pop her all throughout the crease, right up into the inner corner. You will notice as well that I am using tapping motions as opposed to blending shades that are so light and specifically with pastel shades I've just kind of learned over time that if you insist on blending using kind of swiping motions it literally will just blend all of the pigmentation away so I do find to get the best um, results and the, the strongest colour payoff you just need to like really tap on the shadow and I always say this whenever I I am working with pastels that I do think that you have to you have to kind of treat pastel reviews differently than maybe you know other other color eyeshadow reviews because by the very nature pastel shades are very kind of whimsical they're very gentle subtle they can be a little bit chalky looking but they're just very like you know pretty and angelic and i think you know they're never going to be like the most like wham bam thank you ma'am pastel you can get those but they're neon pastels but these you know they're not neon pastels i hope that i'm not kind of over explaining this i think i am so i'm gonna stop but what's my hair doing get out the way hair i'm gonna stop applying that shade now because i don't really think we're getting anywhere fast although i do like the look of it you know she looks she looks nice she's not blowing me away or anything but I like her you know what I mean just for like subtle pink moment so next I am going to go in with I'm going to go in with the purple shade because I'm just really really keen to see what the purple shades are like will she be giving us a whole lot of pastel or will she be a subtle sister like her you know her pink friend we just don't know but we're gonna see oh my gosh yes I love this. This is exactly what I would have hoped that this this purple shade would have looked like on the lid. She is Gojina, like Gojina. She is just so kind of bright and I just feel like these beautiful pastel shades, they they just kind of make you look more awake somehow. They lift your spirits and I just really like them. I do. Again, though, I am just kind of tapping. I'm slightly doing like a little blending motion, but I'm mainly tapping. We want to keep as much of this beautiful purple pigment as we can. By the way, because I think I forgot to mention it, this palette costs four ninety nine, which at this point, just judging, judging it off the two shadows that I've used, which probably isn't a very fair and comprehensive judgment, but. I think that that's looking like it, it will be a fair price, although we've not really tried the shimmers yet, so I mean I should withhold judgment. But for now, I, I'm liking it and I feel, I feel confident. So I'm just building this up. These are actually incredibly easy, easy shadows to work with because you don't have to blend. You're just like packing them on and they look great. That's my kind of shadow. Okay, so I am in love with uh, this shadow. I love it. So next I am, oh shit. Oh, next I'm breaking my phone apparently. Okay, so next I, I'm gonna put a pop of yellow just in the inner corner. I just really wanna see how, how poppy this yellow really, really is. These shadows are just like a little bit chalky. Um, just a tiny bit, like they do kick off quite quite a bit of powder when you dip your brush in there, but I mean I don't mind and I think this looks really really cute, although I've just realised this brush, this was a bad choice. Okay, this is a much better option for this. And what I could have done if I really, you know, just wanted to give this yellow the most chance of being just so successful would have been to have put a little bit of a, a very light concealer just like as a base underneath the area just so that it would really have had a blank canvas just to sit atop you know but I didn't do that because um I'm not very organized so there we go guys I think that that looks really 
spectacular actually so next we're going to go under the eye and for this i'm going to use this beautiful dusky rosy pink kind of shade i'm just trying to use like as many of these shadows as i possibly can look so good too a little bit of a creasing moment there with my new concealer however in its defense i i did not set it so I mean, who's who's at fault here? In a court of law, if I went in and said, hey, uh, my concealer, it's a crease, the judge would say, did you set it? And I would say, no. And they would say, it's your fault. Oh, do you know what? I really love this. I really love the shade. I'm not really sure how well it's complementing the purple, but do you know what? I don't care because we are merely reviewing the palette. I'm just like happy to be able to like test as many of these shadows out as I can. Look, that's my excuse for not creating a cohesive look. Have you noticed? I'm getting that in early. My defence. What I'm going to do, because I'm feeling a little bit saucy today, is I'm going to pop a little bit of the beautiful purple shade. I'm going to just pop that under the eye as well, just to kind of blend in with the beautiful dusky rose shade. Just adding a little bit of it there, just taking it under. Do you know, this is one of my favourite things about makeup, getting stuck into a new eyeshadow palette, you know, playing around. Okay, so yes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really expecting that we'd be able to see the purple on top of the Dusky Rose, but actually, it, you can really see it. If anything, I'd say the purple won the war of who is going to be most visible between it and Dusky Rose. So I really like that. Do you know what? I am so impressed. For four ninety nine, she glam. Like, she will be glam. She definitely will be. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the shimmer. And I have swatched a couple of these um, when I was hauling the video. And I was so impressed. I... Haven't a clue which one I'm going to go into today. We have many beautiful choices. I do believe that a couple of them, i.e., this one and this one, I think these are topper shades because they look very, um, just very sheer. So I think I'm going to go in with either this one which looks like a liquid gold. Like, they don't feel like powders. They feel so silky smooth. They actually feel more like a gelé or like a cream formula, but they don't have the oiliness of a cream formula. So therefore, they feel just more like a gelé. Gelé. Did you hear me trying to sound all fancy then saying gelé? And I said it wrong. I said gelé. And she just is not fancy at all. Um, I'm just going to swatch that one. Yeah, I think today I'm going to go in with the beautiful liquid gold. And I am just going to use my finger to apply this because I just feel like your finger gives you the best results. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, yes. So I'm actually just going to focus this on the center center of my lid. This feels so deliciously smooth. I don't know, I feel like my body's tingling in reaction to how good this feels. You know, sometimes you feel something and it'll be all chalky and dry and it just kind of goes through you. And not this, no, this feels delicious. Okay, so there we go. I love it. Okay, so I finished the eye look and I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. I have nothing bad to say about it, especially for the fact that it costs 4 dollars I would 
100% recommend this if you are a fan of beautiful pastels. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the liquid lipstick. I want to get this on now so that we've just got a little bit of time to see her in action and see how she performs over time, you know, as opposed to just like, oh, I've just applied to her. And yes, she looks and feels great. You know, I want to give her a little bit of a testing out. As I mentioned earlier, she comes in this beautiful artistic packaging. I really like the details on the cap of the turquoise paisleys and I love the frosted glass bottle so I am expecting this to be a rose gold metallic oh wow look at that do you know what I thought like in my experience with metallic liquid lipsticks I do find that the formula tends to be a lot more comfortable than matte liquid lipsticks I just have always found them to not be anywhere near as drying so which is always a great thing because I kind of have given up on liquid lipsticks I just cannot be doing with them anymore they're just so uncomfy for a while you know I put up with it and not anymore Oh my gosh, guys, ah, yes, this is a winner for me. Just look at how majestically shiny she is from back here. All you can see are lips. I mean, I kind of feel a bit bad for my eye look because I just feel like the eye look has been totally eclipsed by these fabulous shiny lips. So, oh. Oh, I lost my flipper. I suppose it's better than losing my mind. So that's always a good thing. Um, but I actually think I lost my mind a few years back. Oh my gosh, like this looks so beautiful. Like I'm not quite sure when or where I would actually wear this much of a metallic shiny liquid lipstick. I think like definitely if I was back at university and I was going out and about, I was, you know, partying, going to raves and, you know, just like living my very best but very extremely drunk life. This would have been ideal, but I can't really see where this would be appreciated in the way it really should be appreciated you know but yeah, I really really love it it feels super comfortable it went on like a dream and this is definitely the most metallic of all the metallic liquid lipsticks I've ever tried so I would recommend it if you're a fan of metallics Um, she's feeling comfortable now but I am going to leave her on for the rest of the video and then we'll check back in at the end Okay, so next we're going to do a little bit of contouring. We're going to be using the She Glam Cream Contour Stick. This is in the shade Mocha. The shade looks okay. Um, if not, maybe a little bit orange, which could potentially present me with some problems. I think all that's left for us to do is just apply her. So I am going to... I'm all for that contour, by the way. Oh, especially if it's super pigmented, it kind of like, there's no going back. Like, you cannot delete what you've just done once you've done it. I hope that this is going to be forgiving. But anyway, we're just going to... I noticed as I was applying her then, there was a little bit of... I felt like she was resisting going on, um, which is a little bit worrying considering that I do have to like blend her out. Um, she seems to not even want to be on my face, let alone like, you know, blend all over my face. So I'm hoping that she's not going to cause us any problems, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just try to blend her in before I apply on the other side. Because I've just got a feeling that she's going to be a little bit high maintenance. And she doesn't seem to be, like, blending. Can you see that? Oh, my gosh. Like, holy moly's. She's, mm, no, she's, like, definitely not wanting to blend. Whereas I usually will use the Milk Makeup uh, Bronzer Stick. If I am going to be using a cream, a cream contour. And that one just blends out so easily. Whereas this one... She's not having it, guys. She's not into this. I could tell as soon as she went on my skin, she didn't seem to want to be there. I could tell. I just knew she's going to be a tricky one. You know, sometimes, like, if you speak to someone on the phone and you just immediately know, hmm, yeah, they're going to be a dick. That's exactly how I felt when I first applied this to my skin. Ah, 
guys, I do not like her. I feel like all you can see is that line. Um, I suppose, you know, things were going too good. The eyeshadow palette, phenomenal. Liquid lipstick, amazing. So I suppose, you know, we were always going to have one dud. And actually, do you know what? I'm glad it's this. Because I think out of all of the products, this was the one I was just most not excited about. What I'm going to do, actually, just to, to highlight how badly this blended out i'm actually going to go in with my milk contour stick which is uh, my favorite cream contour stick on the other side so that you can just see how easily this one blends so this is what she looks like i'm sure you've seen her before she is wonderful but she's massive and that makes her a little bit tricky but you know she's fine i'm not going to criticize because then she might hear me and not want to blend out so we don't want that and now I'm just going to blend her out and you'll see how easily she blends. You know, actually, when I swatched the um, She Glam contour in the haul video, I I just had a bad feeling. And I can't really describe it, but my instincts were just like, mm, oh no. You know what I mean? I, I cannot, I can't explain it but, like any more eloquently than that really. But let's just say I'm not surprised she didn't blend. You know, my gut was telling me something do you know what? Like, look, see how easily that blended out? See, this is what we want. We have difficult lives enough without having to be fighting with our cream contour to blend. Do you know what I mean? Let's just pop that there. We'll whack a load on. Ugh, a little bit, not that I need it. I keep putting contour under my bottom lip, um, you know, to create a more voluptuous bottom lip. But then I just realised, and when you just had your lips done, you don't need that anymore, really. Okay, so I do feel like this side does not look the best, um, purely because I've applied it on top of the shitty contour. And I definitely don't think the shitty contour like that. He said no. How disrespectful of you to even dream of doing that. So, okay, unfortunately, I don't recommend the Chic Lamp Contour Stick. For me, it just did not work. She took offence to my skin. She refused to blend. I do not recommend her. Okay, so next we're going to move on to probably, I'd say, my third most... No, it's actually the second. Anyway, who cares? I'm going to move on to the Clear and Bright Liquid Blush. I didn't mention it before, but I think the packaging of this is just everything. I love the whole... I, I think it's... Was it the hexagon? Did we decide it was going to be a hexagon? Because it has six sides. I think we did. I just think this looks so cute. Kind of reminds me of a Fenty Beauty product. Um, but it looks really... I think like they've just put a lot of effort into it, which I always appreciate in makeup packaging. Oh, oh sorry guys. I just got so excited. Um, my camera got excited too. What are you doing, camera? Oh, shit. Oh gosh, I definitely need a new camera stand. I've just been fighting with this one for about 10 minutes. Probably only about 10 seconds, but I cannot accept this. It's just unacceptable. We're going to be trying on the cream blush. So we do have a cute little sponge applicator, which I just think looks like a micro penis. It really, really does. If you've ever seen a micro penis, I mean, this is it. I mean, really. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to pop... A little bit just here onto the apples of my cheeks. Oh my gosh, I just think that looks so cute. Should we just keep this as the look? I love it. Anyway, so I'm going to get my sponge. I'm going to try and find an area that isn't just caked in with a foundation and bronzer. And I'm just going to use that to blend, oh, blend out the cream blush. I could have even used my fingers, I suppose, but... I just like to pass bacteria around my face. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I really like that she's very subtle. But the thing that I really love about cream blushes is that I just think they look so natural. It just makes it look like, you know, you're a little bit embarrassed about something. Maybe you were out for a walk, you had a skirt on, there was a gusty bit of wind, it blew up your skirt, you exposed your bum cheeks to everyone and you know you're just naturally flushing with embarrassment it kind of reminds me a little bit of that kind of look so i'm just going to pack a little bit more on just to see if we can build build her up honestly though i would happily leave her just like this i don't know why i feel like i have to make these strange facial expressions as i'm doing this but it is fine oh my gosh so guys i definitely feel like this blush is 
a little bit radiant. Let me just have a look up close in my mirror. Yeah, I do think that she's got tiny little glitters in there um, because I can't see. Can you see? There's just that little like shimmer that tells you, yes, they didn't think I was enough. So they added some gold glitter particles to me. I like it because I think it gives you that really nice kind of healthy glow without without it coming from a highlighter. Because you know normally like my glow comes from a highlighter and it's usually quite a in your face kind of knock you over kind of glow. Um, whereas I think this is more of just like a healthy Again, a natural glow kind of from within. So I really, really love that. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other side and then we'll be back. Actually, we, we won't be back. Like, I'll, I'll be here the whole time. But, and you'll be here the whole time, actually, because I was planning on doing like a, a fast forward moment for this. Oh, do you know what I've just thought? How do you fill her up? Do you have to like go like that and then like this and then like that? Yes, yeah, she's full of product. Actually, full of a bit too much product. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting more on. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to just pop a little Souchon on the nose. Do you know what? I really like this. So I haven't tried that many uh, cream blushes. I do tend to use powder. I just think I've, I'm lazy and I just think powders, you know, you just grab them and you just pop them on. But actually, it's if you think about it, it's harder than a cream blush because you, with a powder blush, you have to have a powder and a brush. Whereas with this, you've kind of got everything in one. This will be excellent for travel. Not that I travel anywhere and especially not now, but it'll be really good, you know, for popping on in your holiday bag or just if you're staying with someone for a few days, it would just be really handy to have because you've got just got everything you need all in one. I love the shade. So guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I could not be happier with how good um, all of these products with the exception of course of the bronzer the contour stick my expectations are definitely exceeded I thought that the She Glam eyeshadow palette phenomenal $4.99 such a bargain I recommend this cream blush which actually it's called a clear and bright liquid blush and she definitely is brightening she is just so gorgeous they do have a range of like different shades Um, i definitely would be personally interested if they had like a peachy or like coral uh, shade so i will definitely be going back to see if there's any more shades i want to pick up i'm so impressed with this it's such an easy product to use actually i think cream is a lot more flattering on the skin generally than powders as well so brilliant she was 3.99 I mean, really. And the liquid lipstick, I love, I love, I love. She feels so comfortable. Like, I, like I can definitely feel her, but she's in no way, like, drying or uncomfortable feeling. She, she just feels, like, really, really good. Um, so I really, really like her. However, the only issue is, is that I just can't see me wearing her. So then I know you're probably asking, well, I'm going to, like, you knew she was metallic. Why the hell did you buy her? And I can't answer that. But I would definitely say if you're a fan of metallic liquid lipsticks, I think that you would love this. Formula great, looks great, everything great. Okay, guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed filming it. I just feel like it's such a treat to be able to sit here in my silver executive crushed velvet chair and just play with makeup. I mean, does life get better than this? I don't think it does. So anyway, guys, I really have been inspired now to go back to shine and buy some more makeup because I mean really I've just I've tried it I've I've loved it and I need more I don't need more I want more lots more anyway guys I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I hope to see you in the next video bye